Hello YouTube, hello ham radio lovers, shortwave listeners, hackers, do-it-yourselfers, and homebrewers alike. It's going to be a short tutorial on how to build a software-defined radio receiver using a DVBT dongle. Costs around twenty dollars, depending on where you source it from. And I decided to go ahead and get mine from New Elect. As you can see, it has the R eight twenty T chipset. And <coughs> I already have the uh, box here. Standard box. So here's the radio itself. I also purchased for around $70 or $75, somewhere in there. This uh, new elect up converter it says 100 megahertz down there with a uh, plus 7 dB gain or whatever. 125 megahertz crystal is what it's actually doing. And they switched it from 100 to 125 because it was uh, offered better signal rejection of a uh, strong FM broadcast signals. On the box, I've modified it. Um, have the standard uh, standard SO239 connector. I've notched out the back of the box so this cable can rest in there and stay locked in there when the lid's closed. You can see when the lid's closed, it offers a pretty secure fit. And now to the details. Here's the, uh, the dongle itself out of its shell. the RTL2832U chip. As you can see I've left the USB mail connector intact on the board. Now so I can connect it to this cable and just run this cable here out to uh, too much light there. So I can run this cable out to my computer and it will power the dongle with the necessary 5 volts. And from the back here, I've soldered two spots. One is the 5 volt lead and the other one is ground. And it goes to the bottom of this board and it's underneath here actually pins one and four of this USB connector here will match up with pins one and four of the dongle. And here there used to be an SMA connector and I removed it and added a center lead from a piece of uh, coax and a ground wire going from the shield here to the outer Spot here. Let's see, get it focused. Let's see. Oh. So I have it connected to the RF side. board also came with its own switch on it and uh, I removed it because it didn't quite fit with the box so I just added a different switch myself it's three wires blue being the center lead off the switch going to the center hole on the 
board and then the two yellow leads going on either side. Doesn't really matter, it's just going to change the orientation of the switching. And then on this part, this SMA connector, I didn't have to remove it because it fit just with enough space in there. So I left it intact and just uh, tag soldered it. These two leads, one is the blue, it's the center, and I have a piece of ferrite going on it. And that center lead is going to the antenna output, or input I should say, to the dongle. And then the red wire is coming off the ground, a ground terminal from the dongle, and going to the ground terminal or pad on the, the up converter. So that's the basic connection of everything. And I'm not the best at soldering, but it came out good enough and it works just fine. So, just to go over it once more real quick, I'll give you guys a shot of this diagram I made. It's just real basic, simple diagram. And pause it and read it and analyze it or whatever. That's pretty much self-explanatory. So everything is powered off one cable going to the computer. Real easy. Thanks for a clean operation. I have my, my uh, coax cable. I have two different ones here because I was running a uh, Ramsey Electronics broadband preamplifier in line with this setup and it actually improved the performance quite a bit because there's uh, from what I've heard or read there's a 10 dB loss within the conversion and all that so the uh, Ramsey preamp was allowing me to uh, compensate for that so I'm going to uh, Put this antenna up real quick. I got the antenna hooked up. the up converter, blue light on the dongles on, so we know we got power to everything. Computer running Ubuntu and a software defined radio program is a single focus is GQRX. So, signal right away, and uh, it's 20 meters. I need to adjust the gain and stuff. Oh, that's that's alright. Just another, another voice signal.
another voice in the noise. CW signal. This is an example of how well it works. Not too bad for a little evening project, $100. Uh, I'm just running RG58 coax. I know everybody's going to be like, oh, this stuff sucks, but uh, whatever. It's, it's some laying around. I used it for my coax leading up to this antenna. Just a homemade dipole hanging up inside my house, uh, 15 feet per side uh, for a total of around 30 feet. I just cut it to a random length because I was still using this as a uh, general coverage antenna type setup. Uh, obviously, if you added a pre selector. Uh, or an antenna tuner to this combination uh, performance would improve further so uh, but not too bad if you want to get into a software defined radio for cheap I know I'm not supposed to rebroadcast this, but I just want people to hear the, you know, the quality. And it's uh, and honestly, it's more likely that the hams radio could be drifting than this radio would be drifting because this is a pretty stable setup. Uh, yeah, not too bad, so hopefully this video helps somebody if they wanted to, uh, if they were looking into getting into this project, and take care everybody, 73s, and bye-bye. Uh,